Home for the holidays tonight, a local nonprofit is asking for volunteers to open their homes to a furry friend. Another story just like this. Maya May shows us the impact fostering an ability center dog can have on your family. <laughs> Stella. Say hello to two year old Stella. She's a skilled companion therapy dog who, as you can see, has been becoming fast friends with 10 year old Noah. I really needed a uh, best friend. I was really worried about middle school, about going to middle school when I got her, and she helped me uh, not feel like that. Stella has been comforting Noah with his anxiety and trouble sleeping. Sit. Shake. Stella comes from the Ability Center. They're currently asking for volunteers to foster or train new dogs because... Fostering a dog like Bentley here helps a family like Noah's. We could not do what we do without our amazing volunteers and fosters. Our dogs are raised and trained in foster homes. So they're housebroken, they're crate trained, they're trained in the home, they bring them here for training classes. And Quapit says the need for volunteers is greater during the holidays because they would rather the dog spend their time in a home on Christmas. We always need sitters and fosters, so if anybody's available, you know, for a weekend or an extra week here or there, um, it's really, really helpful for us to have those extra people around the holiday season. And they say everything is covered. All you have to do is enjoy the extra comfort. We provide everything. Nobody needs to go out and buy food or a dog crate or a dog bed. We provide everything that goes home with that dog. And if you choose to volunteer, the journey doesn't end when your foster care is complete. Stella's foster family still gets updates on her training and how her new relationship with Noah is going. They are able to feel like all their hard work has paid off. They see how happy their dog is doing exactly what they've been trained to do. And they get to see how special of a person, you know, Noah is. In Toledo, Maya May, WTOL 11.